Okay, this is the Crash House Hotel. And here's a tough looking woman. My kind of woman. <laughs> uh, hmm, looking for some info. I'm just a hotel manager, bub. Don't ask too much of me. Uh, Alright. Whatever. Who's this? A pouty, shapely woman. My kind of woman. As well. <laughs> okay. Can I open this door? Is this, like, intruding? Hey, darling, how you doing? Oh, I think I know what you- I know what your job is. Just fine, but I could be better. Maybe I can help you with that. <laughs> Maybe you can. How much do you- How much do you charge? Oh, baby, if you got to ask, more than you can afford. Maybe next time, sugar, see you around. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to have actual prostitution in this game, obviously. Uh, who's this guy? Junk Town Guard, okay. Um... This is the Skulls Gang. Okay, I guess they hang out in the... Uh, in this hotel. Is the Skulls Gang the guys who... Uh, Gizmo? Is that Gizmo? Huh. See a young man with a tattoo and a bad attitude. Hmm. Through the wall, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna save here and then see if I can uh, plant this bug. I indeed find out if this is in fact Gizmo. Hey there. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Jim. I'm new to this town. Apparently so. Since everyone knows that this is the territory of the Skulls, you better beat it before someone decides to hurt you. Uh, the Skulls? Who are they? That's us. We're the meanest gang in town. Actually, we're the only gang. But nobody messes with us. So you pretty much run of the, have the run of the town, eh? You bet. Nobody messes with us. Well, except for Killian. But he's cool and all. He's like the sheriff, man. We do whatever we want. Ah. Why do you hang out with these guys? We're like family. We take care of each other. Well, except for Shark, who's always breaking things. <laughs> And Victor, who looks at people funny. But Vinny is cool, and we do stuff together. You know, like we're friends and stuff. Uh, so what is this, what is it that you guys do? We just hang out, and sometimes we play games at Gizmos, or have some fun over at the scum pit. Sometimes we do odd jobs for Gizmo, or some for some traveler. Victor likes stalking people too. Come to think of it, you might want to stay away from him. Okay. Ah, so you work for Gizmo? What can you tell me about him? He's this huge fat guy who runs the casino. He wants to run Junk Town, but Killian keeps him in line. He pays pretty well though. Occasionally he hires Vinny or Victor to deal with people for him. If they've if they've been a problem. Like one stranger who shut up here a few weeks ago. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I get the hint. Okay, that's not Giz Gizmo's the fat guy, right? And he runs the casino. Where the hell is the casino? Here in this transition area. Okay. I'll skip the walk. Right. Well, I think that's a pretty clear indication that this is Gizmo's place. You see casino sign, indeed. Now, as long as I don't spill water on this guy or feed him after midnight, this should be okay. So, this place really does look a lot more desolate than, than I'm used to in the capital wasteland. Of course, this place is obviously flattened a lot more than that place. Roulette dealer, gambler, gambling's a mugs game. Unless you have a high luck score, of course. Gizmo's guard, okay. Roulette dealer. Where is this guy then? Gizmo's guard, guarding this door, but where's Gizmo? Right, let's just talk to him then. Can you spare a few? I'm not going to ask him that. Hey, can I ask you a few questions? No, go away. Oh, Alright then. <laughs> um, okay. Now, it doesn't look like they want me to go through that door. So, let's just do a little exploring. Not really interested in... Let's talk to one of these gamblers. Leave me alone, I'm on a hot streak. Yeah, sure you are. Let's <laughs> see. Uh, let's, uh... Be prepared for aggression to the mean, my foolish, statistically ignorant friend. <laughs> uh, what's that? Wooden wall. Slot machines. 
yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much work they had to do retooling these slot machines to work uh, with bottle caps. Let's just try to walk through here and see what happens. Oh, well they don't care. Alright then, I'm not worrying about nothing. Aha! Oh, fat guy. That, uh, looks like gizmo, and in fact it is. So let's, uh, right, now I'm going to save here, because I, he may kill me if he finds out what I'm doing, which is trying to either plant a bug in his office, which maybe I could plant on this shelf here, or, um, or I have to record the conversation. Let's try, let's see if I can turn on this bug, which is this. See tape record, oh, it does nothing. Um, maybe it's already on. Do I need to use the tape recorder? Oh no, the bug is the thing I'm supposed to plant. I've got to use the tape recorder. Okay, it does nothing. All right, do I put it in my, oops, put it in there, and then use, huh, still does nothing, all right, I'm holding a tape recorder in my hand and walking up to the guys, it's probably stupid. What do you want? I'm a busy man. Yeah, and you're uh, not very flatteringly lit. Uh, I'm here to tell you assassin felt, no. Um, oh dear. <laughs> Want to know how someone as stupid as you still? Why can't I actually say anything that isn't completely ridiculous and stupid? That's going to get me killed. Uh, let's see. I'm here to talk about the attempt on Killian's life. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. <laughs> well, let's take a hypothetical situation. Such as. Well, let's say you did try to kill Killian, and your assassin failed. That means you'll need a new one to do the job, right? And let me guess. You're that someone. Very good. For a price, of course. Well, how can I trust you? Now, let's see. You can't. I mean, you can. I mean... <laughs> I'm here, and you need someone from out of town to do your dirty work, right? <laughs> All right. We can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? Uh, <laughs> stupid. Of course, but first I need to know why you want him dead. <laughs> That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. Yeah. So, what are you doing for me? <laughs> Could you say that again, please? This time into my coat pocket. No. Uh, sure, it's a job. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No one. Okay. I wonder if I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, where's he going? Hey, you. Scary looking guy in the metal armor, Izo. Can I talk to you? Izo says nothing. Alright, fine. Okay, I've got him saying that on tape. Look at his bed, it's made of stone. <laughs> he sounds like the voice actor who played Cyrus Redblock in The Next Generation, who was a gangster in a holodeck simulation in the episode The Big Goodbye. Yes, I am a trekkie. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Killian and see if that's good enough. Hasn't even cleaned up the body. So, yeah. did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? The confession. Let's hear it. Okay. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Oh. You want me to kill him? Okay, let's see. Shotgun and shells, leather armor, doctor's medical kit. I guess I can do with the leather armor. I need to not die. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Right. Might be good uh, for a laugh. 
I misunderstood. That was my reward. Here he's asking for me to help kill him. <laughs> It'd be worth it just to see him try to walk him on ten feet. Nah. I, uh, depends on what you're willing to give me. I'm in the market for rope. Well, I can pay you the standard rate for mercenary work. Ooh. 500 caps. It's more money than I've ever seen. Fine. Done. Good enough. Go see Lars. He'll give you the details. Gotcha. You've gone up a level. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's, uh... Oh, pick a perk. Ooh. Awareness. You're more likely to notice details. I'll just read through these and then... Okay, I'm going to go with the Swift Learner perk, which is near 5% experience bonus. Um, this was kind of a bad thing to have in Fallout 3, because there was a level cap. And uh, But I don't know if it's the case here, but I'm going to get it anyway. Because I think this game is slightly harder than... Uh... Oh, Karma Reputation General 2. Uh, okay. Kills Men 1, Red Scorpion 6. Who did I kill? With them? Which man did I kill? Oh, you know, the... The assassin lying at my feet, that's right. Oh, and uh, skill points, I'll just... Uh, let's put small guns up, because I'm going to be using them a lot. Let's see if we can get it to 100%. 101%? Wow, I'm better than I could possibly be. No, let's just take it to 95. Uh, let's see, let's aid a bit more, and... Uh, lock pick. I might need to pick some locks. Alright. So I've got to talk to Lars, right? Uh, who's Lars? Or is... The fuck is Lars? Right. This must be Lars. Even though he's not listed as Lars on his fucking name. He's just, like, mustachioed man. Ready to take down Gizmo? You bet. Let's nail that tub. Alright, let's do it. Oh! That was rather sudden. Oh god! He's shooting. Uh, oh, that was weird. <laughs> um, right. Good thing I put on my leather armor. So, can I get out my gun? There we go. Oh, that looks cool. I look wicked. Okay, time to kill this big bastard. 95%. I'm aiming at his desk as well as him. Now, should I aim at him or his guard? Mm. Maybe if I kill him first, his guard will just run off. He's about hit with 12 hit points. <laughs> but there's a lot of flesh to get through. Okay. In turn, I guess. Let everyone else do their thing. Yeah, no one does that to me. No one. The game keeps freezing. Unfortunately, it unfroze. Okay. Uh, right. So. Okay. The heavily muscled scarred man with a moustache equals Lars. That's Izo. Killian. What's it? He's not even doing anything. He's just standing there. Ian. He's not doing anything either. Alright. Let's uh, see if we can do a nice aimed shot at this guy. <laughs> the right leg. Is that the chair leg? or the <laughs> Oh, 95% of the head. I'm going to go for that. Yeah! And his chest exploded even though I shot him in the head. Wicked. 38 hit points. A serious wound. Gizmo was killed. No fucking shit. I am deadly. Yeah, now you get your fucking guns out. That's really weird. I hope this game doesn't crash. Um, okay. Just got to take out this guard. Still. Uh, torso. Groin. Let's shoot him in the groin. Oh, that always takes him down. <laughs> Isaac was critically hit in the groin for 19 hit points. The pain is too much for him and he collapses like a rag. Izo was killed. <laughs> <laughs> You've got no bollocks anymore. Isn't that it? End of combat. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Teleport again. Thanks for all your help. It's 500 caps. You're always welcome in junk town, friend. Wicked. So, can I buy a rope, please? <laughs> That's all I fucking need. 